tutorial here about how to get your images full size, like this one. So how do we do that? Because at first it doesn't work that way. What I'm going to do to begin with is to select a, uh, to select a container here and we are going to add an image to it. I'm going to choose an image from my media library and I am working on a certifications page so I'm going to choose this one. Now you see it does not take up the entire page at this point. So we need to look at what settings we can do to make it take up the whole page. First thing I'm going to do is in the lower left corner we have the settings gear. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to make sure I have Elementor Canvas selected. Now you can play around with this and see what these other ones do, but I'm just going to talk about Elementor Canvas today. So I have that selected and I've already done it, so I don't really need to update to exactly, but I'll update anyways because you should update. All right, then I'm going to come over here and there are a few things that I want to do. I'm going to click on the, the pencil here and I'm going to edit the image and for instance I'm going to want to make the image full okay so that it's not magic it hasn't happened yet and then uh, then I'm now going to go I'll come back to this page in a second but first I am going to click on edit columns and I'm going to go to I am going to make this column width 100 so that we have the column width of 100. Now I am going to tell it to take this to the max and then I have one more thing that I want to do and let's see I'm going to click up here so I'm clicking on these little dots up here. I'm going to say that the content should be full width. I'm going to say there should be no column gap. And voila, we now have a full length image. You can also do this with videos. And of course I want to update and there we go.